Let's move on then to our 13th ranked head coach in the Big 12. We have Kenny Dillingham. And I believe actually both of us had Dillingham exactly 13. And you yeah. know what? I wish I could rank him higher. It's just because, you know, he's young, uh, doesn't have a lot of on field production. But what he did, like, that roster was atrocious. It was atrocious. And there were some games with injuries. And you're throwing out guys that, like, some of the beat writers are like, what? Who is this? Like, what? And you're like, unbelievable. He, I think he did a really good job. I think he's a really good offensive mind. So I think he can do a lot there with Jaden Rashada. I think Jaden Rashada is a clear breakout player for 2024. I think he got some pretty decent guys. Uh, had an okay recruiting class. Top half, Big 12. Uh, did okay in the transfer portal. This this is a sneaky team, even for next year, right? Because we talked about the talent margin being so small. Because I think Kenny Dillingham is a good offensive mind, and their defense was a little frisky last year. If you don't, if you don't recall, yeah, sure. You look at the numbers and the metrics, you're like, oh, this isn't a great defense, but like, man, for what they were dealing with, like they they put some teams in binds. Emphasis on Washington would be a team that they put in a bind. I, I think they did a really good job. So I I wish I could put Kenny Dillingham higher. Just haven't seen the on field production yet. And I am assuming that he will move up this list going into next year. Yeah, I, th- I think part of it is is how highly we feel about him, and also like how understanding we are of that situation. Like, if you look at it, yeah, they went three and nine, right, and it, and they got blown out a bunch of times in conference. But if you dig deeper, it was such an impressive three and nine. I hate to say that, and I hate to give out moral victories on this show here, but to, you you kind of have to, right? After getting blanked by Fresno State at home. Right, you come back and you respond with a bunch of close games, competitive games after your roster. It's just so injury riddled. It was killed in the transfer portal, or you had to like remake in the portal. Herm Edwards he did that to that roster, borderline illegal. And how bad he left it. Um, and with Kenny Dillingham, and you play close games with USC, California, Colorado, and Washington. I get like California and Colorado aren't like these world beater teams, but it was still pretty darn awesome just to see that buy in continue to happen. Then you beat Washington State, beat UCLA down the stretch. Sure, you got blown out by Utah and Oregon and Arizona. Those were three of the best teams in the conference that year. Yeah, I I think to me, this has all the markings of a program that is improving and getting better. To still have a fight that late in the season after losing games, like to me, this is awesome. This reminds me of like early Jed Fish years at Arizona. And the roster that Jed Fish inherited was a little bit better than this roster. And I think Dillingham. Really good offensive mind, like you mentioned, can attract some talent. We saw that this year. We saw that with um, Jaden Rosado. We did a transfer portal video um, on a couple of guys coming over, namely Kamari Wilson. Florida, they're bringing in a haul because they have so much to replace and try to get some depth in there before he can really get his guys in there, his culture, and his team set in motion there. Yeah, I, I love this. I, I I think Kenny Dillingham, like you mentioned, is a prime candidate to be moving up this list for sure. And it yeah, almost helps him. Like we talk real quick. Does it help him moving to the, the Big Twelve for sure? Right. I think so. Probably. I, it's hard it to say. Maybe a little bit harder to recruit, but in terms of who you're recruiting against, better than oh, going yeah. up over to California and recruiting as USC and Oregon, Washington. Right. You, now you got to compete with, I don't know, TCU's and, and Colorado, who doesn't really do high school and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, you got some good transfers in this year. Relique Brown. For one, Kamari Wilson, Cole Martin. I mean, I think it's okay telling you. It's okay telling. We'll see what Jaden Rashada can do healthy. <laughs> but I, I'm really interested to see what Kenny Dillingham do. I hope that he skyrockets up this list next year, and I believe that he can do that. 